just delightful. This is just good for the soul. Oh, it's so good. <clears throat> so the collage pack for this piece is phenomenal. At least I think it is. So um, let me just, so you've got, you've got one of these florals for the background <clears throat> and I just made it smaller if you guys have any questions on how to print and download the collage pack there's a video in the shop right above where you purchase the collage packs um, in the main uh, menu part of the shop it shows you how to make them smaller all that kind of stuff make it easy as easy as peasy as possible <clears throat> um, so there's the flowers from the vintage floral. You have to excuse me, I have a little cold or allergy. I think it's allergies. Um, and then there's <clears throat> two pages from, or three pages from, this is an Italian opera book from 1928. Ni 1928. And what I love about this is that it, the pages that I gave you, um, like they're titled Tribulation, and then the other ones got the, the kind of the rundown of, you know, who's singing and all that kind of stuff. And then this, the first page, it's titled The Introduction, and it's got number one on there. So cool, but <clears throat> I thought of... You know, I was just putting things together for this, um, and I was thinking about journey and how much tribulation we actually have on our journey, and then the introduction to courage over, you know, that's kind of my thought process through all of this. So there is definitely meaning in the in the pages that I have for the this collage pack. Um, and then you've got... You've got two full pages of um, birds and butterflies. So you've got small and large, and small and large. And these are all vintage uh, butterfly and bird drawings from the books. So small and large of each one of those. <clears throat> and then this is the coolest thing. Um, this was a copy, copy uh, royalty-free image that I found on Pinterest, um, but this is so cool. I mean, it's just, so I gave you three sizes in that. Love this, love this, love this, love this. So there are actually three, four, five, six, I think seven pages for this collage pack so really oh and the uh, vintage wallpaper back here it's one of my favorites so that's in there as well so and then two stencils that I used I used the damask duo I wanted just a little bit of design just something really super subtle that's kind of why I smoothed it out on the edges um, uh, but I wanted it to be very, you know, soft and kind of flowy and that, this, I like that a lot. And then I used the um, old font, old text font or something like that for my word. And I just, I stenciled it on a piece of paper. And let me show you <clears throat> what I did. So I, uh, let me grab it. I print. I wrote out the words here, or typed out the words, and kind of printed out kind of a beige neutral background um, that I have that I did that I've scanned and I have on my on my computer, and then I just stamped or uh, stenciled out the word journey with my old type text, um, and it came out so lovely. Just so I mean. So I'm very pleased with that. <clears throat> and then I just cut out my my words and put them down. Um, and it's pretty pretty simple. The background was really gorgeous. The blue with the with the um, umber wash over it, and then I kind of scribbled with my brush. Uh, felt good. Love it. Love love love. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. 
So this says journey. I love this. I love this. And I found part of this and there was no owner to the quote. And then so I since there was no owner, I added I made it my own. <laughs> I I added to it. So and I kind of moved things around a little bit, but it says when you set out on a journey and night covers the road, you don't conclude that the road has vanished. You keep walking by faith because that is how we discover the stars. Is that not delightful? So th there's so many great things about this, but <clears throat> when we talk about our journey in the night covering it, that's our tribulation. That's those moments when we're, you know, we're on our path and we're confident and we're going and then something happens. And um, maybe it's uh, hurt or a relationship ends or there's loss or um, sickness or anything like that. <clears throat> um, we don't we don't think that there, that's the end of the road. We don't think that the night has come and that's the end. We, you know, we feel the pain and we hurt and we do all of those things and then we get back up and we keep walking. And we walk by faith. And for me, faith is something larger than myself and faith can be many, many different things to you. But I also think about our faith in our pre past experiences, our faith in our courage muscles, because we this isn't the first time that you've had an issue or a trial or something like that. And we always get back up and we always keep going and we always learn. And we, you know, if we choose to, if we choose to, we learn and we grow from our tribulation, from the night from the dark places and we keep walking because we know we know that the morning is going to come and the sun is going to shine and joy will be there but we have to we have to use our courage muscles and we have to use our faith to keep walking on the path because it's still there we're still going we're still moving it's just we're in this dark time because in the midst of the dark time is when we can find the stars. That's when we find those deep, graceful, meaningful moments that change us in the dark. It never, it, at least for me, those times never come when things are great. They never come when they're great. They always come for me when the path is shadowy and dark and not clear. And then in those moments, you can look up and see the glorious stars, the glorious message, the glorious lesson, the strength that you gain, all of those wonderful things. And you can't see it when you're there necessarily. You cannot look back and go, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was an amazing journey. It wasn't easy and it was scary and there were rough patches, but look at what I found on the path, on the journey. I'm so passionate. <laughs> I just, I love this message. I love it. I love it. I want to live it. I want to teach it. I want to share it. I want, I just, there's so many things in the journey in those dark places that you can't get anywhere else and that make us so grateful and thankful and empathetic and all of those things that build great character happen in those dark places. All right, lovies. I hope your Sunday is awesome. I hope that you get rest. I hope that you remember your faith muscles, your courage muscles if you're in the dark place. If you're not in the dark place, celebrate. Hallelujah, and remember what you learned in those places and share it with others. All right, loves, have a great Sunday and always, always know that you are loved.